here in Tokyo, not in the center of Tokyo, a little west of, uh, of uh, Shinjuku and Shibuya. It's on, the, on, a, on a good place um, for people that live uh, in, in Tokyo and uh, on, the, on the surrounding neighborhoods. The idea is to uh, create high-end effects and uh, give a chance to uh, people around the world to work in Japan and to Japanese to work with uh, international uh, experimented artists. We have three guys that we came together because we have a, a long background in effects. I've been doing effects for 15 years. And uh, we wanted to make um, a company uh, that got all the good things about doing effects. We started Megalis uh, on March 2017. So we are very young. We, we didn't even uh, uh, have one year of life yet. We, we work on uh, any kind of project. Like generally, project containing a lot of special effects, uh, from commercial to high-end uh, special effects. We got called to uh, work on this um, commercial piece for uh, Xiaomi, which is the biggest uh, cell phone manufacturer in uh, China. And they wanted us to showcase this new model, which has, it's a premium model, so it has like a, like a back plate with a special metal alloy. So the, the idea of, uh, of the uh, commercial piece is to show how unique is this. What was exciting about this project was that uh, we, we had to do a lot of uh, uh, elements which were completely uh, abstract, organic. We had to develop the look for many kind of uh, abstract idea. We used Houdini to build this um, abstract piece. And the interesting part of, of, of it is that it's a very long piece done in a very short time with a single camera. So we have the power of 10 problem, which is having the camera pulling out from a very, very small place to a very big one. It's already uh, extremely difficult to do in any other type of software that is not based on a procedural system. So uh, the, the crystal part actually is, is pure procedural, it's just scattering points and geometries. The challenging part was to try to match it, uh, to, to merge it together um, with other elements, trying to uh, um, make the transition between the tendrils to the crystals, the crystals to the cubes, and uh, try to make this natural enough. Um, from a tiny world to a big world, we obviously needed an insane amount of uh, geometries. Uh, actually, Houdini was extremely helpful for this because we could very quickly send, um, like, run a few simulations, run a few ideas, do a quick loop dev, and make play blasts for clients, giving my idea of what we could, what kind of turnaround we could have. The way Houdini helped with that is that we, we could have a very quick iteration on many kind of ideas, many kind of developments, and uh, have a quick feedback from the clients. Thanks to the procedural uh, networks, when we update that system, everything will get updated and we'll immediately know how it's going to look. 